what's good everybody in today's video i'm gonna be showing you how to grow your garden in a suburb now this is a simple and a few proven ways that you can grow your own your very own garden like this one while using as little space as possible let's begin first thing that you're gonna need to remember is that you're gonna need to have a yard so it doesn't really matter as much size as long as the area you're planning on putting this in doesn't really take up that much space you see i'm where I used to live in the suburbs, I had a backyard that was divided in half due to a stone wall. And there was one free area that wasn't really occupied by too much. And it was an area on, on the bottom left section of the yard. So you need to find an area that really won't have a lot. And well, if you're growing gardens in the suburbs, your best bet is to use a raised bed. So a raised bed basically looks something like this. It's being flashed on the screen right now. Now that is a really easy way to grow a garden since raised bed gardening is strongly recommended for beginners. And we're also going to be talking a lot about reusing stuff so that way you can grow what needs to be grown. So the first thing we're going to be talking about today after the fact that you planned out where you're going to be putting this sort of stuff is now you're going to need to build the raised bed. So I have never built a raised bed in my entire life but I know someone who can help you do this for just under $20. His name is Hands in the Dirt, and you should really check out his YouTube channel. It's filled, it's filled to the brim with amazing gardening tips and tricks. My channel is more based around chicken content, but I still do produce a lot of gardening content. So I've never built a raised bed, but if you want to learn how to do it for $20, check out these two videos right here that are put on screen and are linked to his channel. Shout out to him. But anyways, let's get back on track. After you've watched those videos, now you come back to this video. So now that you've filled everything up, now it's time to know what you're gonna be putting in these raised beds. Now, if you're gonna really wanna make, out, make the most of your space, now is the time to Google how deep each root is. That way, let's just say you're gonna be planting zucchini because these roots can be humongous. Or you could be planting gourds in your garden. These roots are also huge. So if you're gonna be planting any of that sort of stuff, you're gonna need to figure out where you're gonna put this stuff. And if you're gonna use a pot or a raised bed. And one of your raised beds should be dedicated to anything that's going to have a trellis in it. And a trellis, if you've never even had any gardening before, like you've never done any form of gardening, it's this. So this right here that I'm walking under is a trellis. It's built to hold up stuff like cucumbers and other stuff such as, such as cherry tomatoes. And you should also be making sure you put that stuff up. And then you should dedicate the other one to plants that you just don't want to have in pots. Now it's time to get a, a little glimpse at reusing stuff. Now in the video above that is, that is shown above is a video by me that is about repurposing stuff. You can check that out, but it's not required. So you're just gonna wanna repurpose a few things. So a lot of people in the suburbs have like pipes that have been lying around for tens of years in their yard. So if you re just really wanna put that to use, you can plant any plant with small roots if you don't have the area. And in this small area, you can really just put a lot of stuff to use, like pots and other stuff. This is going to be a huge help to help you growing your garden in the suburbs. Now, the last one I want to talk about is if you if you have another area in your yard and you just really want to do a whole lot of plants that won't fit, and you have a whole other area in your yard that in your yard that really isn't like put to use, this is where you can put that stuff. If you're growing your main garden, this is where I might recommend a strawberry or blueberry patch. Because strawberries and blueberries really flourish in areas that have a lot of sunshine, so like this. That's why our whole entire garden is out in the open sunlight. So that way you can basically just, well, get as much sunlight as the plants need. So yeah, that's where you should really be planning your stuff out. And the reason why my garden back in the suburbs was probably a massive fail was probably because we put it in an area that's literally hidden by a bunch of trees. So that's why you should be careful as to what area you're picking out on. It's just a simple life lesson I've learned about growing gardens in the suburbs. And obviously in the suburbs, you can't really do that much. So you can't really be taking up that much space in your yard because in the suburbs, you really wanna make the most out of the space in your yard. So if you have any other troubles growing stuff, tell me in the comments below. And if you wanna suggest a part two to this video, I will, you can comment that below, but the deadline for that is going to be 25 likes. Another thing that you should also be remembering is that I'm going to be dropping a Raising Chickens in the Suburbs video tomorrow. It's going to be a big one, so stay tuned for that and like and subscribe to this YouTube channel. A subscribe to the channel will be extremely appreciative. And, well, you can just 
sit back, relax, and enjoy these videos. Best way is to binge as many videos as possible as you possibly can, so that way these videos can get recommended to more people. Let's end that video off on that, people. Goodbye.